in this sixth session, we want to finish learning the Latin noun declensions, the five noun declensions, and then briefly introduce adjectives, and then practice identifying nouns and adjectives according to their declension. First, let's review the, the model nouns that we're using for our declensions. Porta, portai, feminine, gate. This is first declension. The endings of the first declension are a, i, i, am, a, i, arm, is, as, is. Second declension, our model noun is amicus, amici, masculine, friend. And the endings for second declension are us, i, o, um, o, i, orum, is, os, is. Second declension neuter, our model noun would be donum, doni, neuter, gift. And the declension, um, i, o, um, o, a, orum, is, a, is. Third declension is characterized by an is in the genitive. Rex, regus, masculine, king. The endings are blank, is, e, m, a, es, um, ibus, es, ibus. And third declension, neuter. Our model noun is corpus, corporis, neuter, body. The endings are blank, is, e, blank, a. For the plural, a, um, ibus, a, ibus. You add those endings to the noun base. The fourth declension, we recall, is characterized by the vowel U that occurs throughout the declension. Our model noun is fructus, fructus, masculine fruit. And the endings are, for masculine nouns, us, us, ui, um, u, us, um, ibus, us, ibus. And fourth declension, neuter, cornu, cornus, neuter, horn. The endings, u, us, u, 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 ua, um, ibus, ua, ibus. And finally, the fifth declension, which is new now to our session, the fifth declension is characterized by the vowel E. It has an E throughout the declension. The genitive singular ends in ee, and that is how you tell that a noun belongs to the fifth declension. Our model noun is dies, d-a-e, masculine, Day. Please repeat. D A S D A E, masculine day. Actually, this word can be masculine or feminine. And the interesting thing about the fifth declension all nouns in this declension are feminine except this one, D A S D A E, masculine, which can actually be either masculine or feminine. All other fifth declension nouns are feminine. The formation of this declension is as follows. Dies, D-A-E, D-A-E, D-M, D-A. Plural. Dies, D-A-R-M, D-A-B-U-S, Dies, D-A-B-U-S. Notice there's an E that persists throughout the declension. That's the characteristic vowel, just like U for the fourth declension. The endings, if you simply want to learn the fifth declension endings, which is how I do it, the endings are ace, A-E-A-E-M-A, -E -E -A, ace, arum, abus, ace, abus. Another noun of the fifth declension would be space, or as it is pronounced in ecclesiastical pronunciation, spez. But the, the pronunciation that I learned is classical. Space, spei, spei, spem, spei. And this, this word means hope. 
space, spae, feminine, hope. The declension once again, space, spae, spae, spem, spae, space, sperum, spabus, space, spabus. Another very common fifth declension noun is res, R-E-S, or res, as they say in the church. Res, rei, rei, rem, re. Res, rerum, rebus, res, rebus. Those are important nouns and frequent nouns in the fifth declension. Before we leave our, our noun declensions, I want to remind you of one other important Latin noun. It's a third declension noun. Let me put it on the board here. It is namely the noun weis. Weis, weis, feminine force. The declension of this noun, allow me to teach it to you. It goes like this. Now, my pro a professor of mine from the University of Iowa taught me this learning tool. I pass it on to you. Please don't mock it because it's really going to help you. You basically learn the declension ac according to the tune, Mary had a little lamb. It goes like this. Weis, weis, we, wim, we, weiris, weirium. Weiribus, weiris, weiribus is the feminine word for force. As I said, don't laugh. That's going to help you enormously. It's very easy to confuse this noun with a second declension noun, namely, weir, weary, masculine, man. But if you remember the declension that I just taught you, weis, weis, we, wim, we, weiris, weirium, weiribus, weiris, weiribus is the feminine word for force. You'll be surprised how easily you can keep these two nouns distinguished from each other. Okay, that's the, the noun system. Now I want to say some words about the adjectival system in Latin, adjectives. An adjective is a word that modifies a noun. There are two ways of forming adjectives in Latin. There are the first and second declension adjectives and third declension adjectives. The first and second declension adjectives for example, magnus aum, or multus aum, this means great, magnus aum, multus aum. These are formed with the endings of first and second declension nouns. And a, a steadfast rule in Latin is that adjectives agree in case number and gender with the nouns they modify. In other words, adjectives are declined, just like nouns are declined, and the adjective must agree with the noun that it modifies in case, number, and gender. So, this first and second declension adjective magnus, if it were modifying a masculine noun, such as amicus, amici, you would decline it as a second declension adjective here. Magnus, magni, magno, magnum, magno, magni, magnor, magnis, magnos, magnis. If this first and second declension adjective were modifying a feminine noun of any declension, it will be declined as a feminine adjective. Magno, magna. So, how do you say a great gate in the nominative? Magna porta or porta magna. If a first and second declension adjective is modifying a neuter noun, you use the neuter form of the second declension. Magnum. So if you're modifying horn, 
cornu, cornus, neuter, horn, with this adjective, magnus aum, you would use magnum, cornu magnum, a great horn. So this is one system of adjectives, the first and second declension adjectives. And then there are third declension adjectives. They are declined also, but they are declined like third declension nouns. An example of a third declension adjective would be potens, powerful. It's a Latin word for powerful. It declines. So in the nominative, potens. In the genitive, potentis. In the dative, potenti. Accusative, potentem. Ablative, potenti. There's a change here. The ablative becomes potenti instead of potente. If you remember the third declension endings, is, e, m, a, es, um, ibus, es, ibus, the ablative singular for the adjective is potenti, not potente. And then in the plural, third declension adjectives are formed es, just like the nouns, es, um, ibus, es, ibus for masculine, and then ia, um, ibus, ia, ibus for the feminine. So let's review some third declension adjectives. In addition to potens, another common one would be fortis, forte, strong or powerful. Third declension adjectives can be one ending adjectives, two ending adjectives, and three ending adjectives. Potens is a one ending. You have to memorize the three nominative forms when you learn the adjective and then those forms will decline according to the nouns they modify. For now, let us look at the vocabulary lists that have been supplied to you from the Latin readings that we're going to do in our final sessions. And let's practice identifying two things, the declension of the nouns and the kind of adjectives that we are encountering here. From the first list, the vocabulary from the pater noster, the Our Father, the first noun on the list is pater, patris, masculine, father. To which declension does this noun belong? Pater, patris, masculine, father. You've got an I-S in the genitive. That tells you third declension, pater, patris, masculine, father. It would decline just like rex here, pater, patris, patri, patrem, patre, patres, patrium, patribus, patres, patribus. It will decline according to that paradigm as a third declension noun. How about the noun? Kylum, Kylum, Kylie, neuter, heaven. Which declension does this noun belong to? Kylum, Kylie. Second declension, neuter. Just like donum, doni. So it will decline. Kylum, Kylie, Kylo, Kylum, Kylo. Plural, Kyla, Kylorum, Kylis, Kyla. Kailis. How about the noun? Nomen, nominus, neuter, name. Which declension does this noun belong to? Nomen, nominus, neuter, name. Third declension, just like corpus, corporis, neuter. So it would decline. Nomen, nominus, nomini, no men, no mene. Remember, neuter nouns of any declension are identical. 
in the nominative and the accusative. Then the plural, nomina, nominum, no minibus, nomina, no minibus. Regnum, regni, neuter, kingdom. Which declension is that? Second declension, neuter. So it would be declined like donum. How about voluntas, voluntatis, feminine, will. Again, third declension, you've got is in the genitive singular. This is a third declension feminine noun. It would be declined as voluntas, voluntatis, voluntati, voluntatem, voluntate, voluntates, voluntatum, voluntatibus, voluntates, voluntatibus. Here's another noun from our paternoster. Terra, terrae, feminine, earth. Which declension does this noun belong to? Terra, terrae, feminine, earth. It's first declension. Just like porta, portae, feminine, gate. It would be declined terra, terrae, terrae, terram, terra. Terrae, terram, terris, terras, terris. The Ave Maria. We have the noun dominus, domini, masculine, lord. Which declension is this? Second declension. Just like amicus, amici, masculine. So dominus, domini, domino, dominum, domino. Domini, dominorum, dominis, dominos, dominis. Mors, mortis, feminine, death. Which declension? Third declension, is in the genitive singular. Mors, mortis, feminine, death. It would be declined like rex, regis. Is, ema, es, um, ibus, es, ibus. Horra, horai, feminine, hour. You've got AE in the genitive singular, so it's a first declension noun. A fifth declension noun, we have the noun progenies. Progenies, progeniei, feminine family or progeny. So that would be declined progenies, progeniei, feminine family. It would be declined like D-A-E, masculine. Okay, now let's work on identifying some adjectives in the pater noster. The first adjective that appears is noster, nostra, nostrum. Notice three forms are given to you. That's the vocabulary entry. Noster, nostra, nostrum. Those are first and second declension adjectival endings, so this is a first and second declension adjective. Tu us a um, your. Noster means our, tu us means your. Is this a first and second declension adjective or a third declension adjective? It's got the us a um, which indicates it's a first and second declension adjective. How about quotidianus a um? Which type of adjective is this? That too is a first and second declension adjective. How about the adjective malus a um? Evil. That also is a first and second declension adjective. How about the adjective communis commune? Common. Communis commune, the nominative forms there. That indicates that that is a third declension adjective, and it would decline communis if it's modifying masculine and feminine nouns, is, e, m, a, es, um, ibus, es, ibus. Commune, if it's modifying neuter nouns, a, is, e, a, e, and so forth. Okay, when we do our Latin readings in our final sessions, we're going to put all of this knowledge together, hopefully, in a way that will help you understand what we've covered. But that is your very brief introduction to the Latin noun system and the adjectival system.